Yo what's up guys welcome back to my channel and if you're a rapper that's going to release a new single or you've got a new project to come out and you have no idea how to make cover art or anything, no experience in photoshop or nothing similar, well this video is made for you. So in the description there's a link with this file and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit it and to make it your own personal cover. If you would like to have more editable covers for your projects, well you can check out my Patreon where I've got loads of stuff over there and I'll keep posting more stuff. And also a special thank you to Zspin, my Patreon. So if you subscribe to my Patreon, you also get a shout out. So yeah, this cover is about him. So you can check out his music or leave it in the description as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So once you open that file that's in the description, this will appear. So it may seem like there's a lot of stuff going on, but it's quite easy to, to understand. So for example, if you want to change the text or whatever, you can click on where it says text. And as you can see, it's selected the paper texture. Well, for now, I'm going to disable that clicking this eye icon like this. As you can see, you can no longer see the paper overlay, but don't forget to put it on afterwards. So yeah, first I'm going to press on the text. And as you can see, I selected these layers where it says text. If you want to make any adjustments, you can double click on the T. And as you can see, it's selected all of the text. So now you can type whatever you want. So I'll just put my name. I'll just put Dialogy Effects. And you can do the same thing with the rest. And now you're thinking, well, it's a bit too big for the image. How can I change it? Well, on your keyboard, you want to press shift and you want to press on the three layers that you want to adjust. So where it says Dialogy Effects and all of these, I'm going to click individually on all of them and it's all selected. Now you want to press Command T or Control T on your keyboard, depending if it's Mac or, or Windows. And it's made a selection of them. And now you can transform them. So I'll just make these adjustments to make it fit the image and that seems about right once I'm done I press OK now something else you'll like to change will be the color for example when how do you do that well for the text to make it quicker um, I've already got these three selected so right here where it says color I'm gonna click on that and this will appear this hue will appear now you can change the color to whatever you want maybe you want a red color for example well you go to red and you just select it and you press OK. Now what if you want to change the object color? Well you do the same thing. I'm going to click on this right left side of the screen and as you can see it's selected. Now you want to double click where it says color overlay. Press on this color and as you can see you got the hue again. So I want to select the exact same color as the text. So what I do is I go on top of the text and I click on it and then you press OK. The exact same thing with everything else. And there we go, I've changed all the colors. And now the next thing you would like to do is import your own image. I use an example with a picture of little baby. So you've imported your image and as you can see, it's, uh, it's behind everything. So you want to drag the image that you've got and you want to place it on top of where it says image here. Now the previous image will be on top of it so what you want to do is you want to select the previous image and you want to click on delete. Now it's gone. Now you want to position your image on top of the square so you press command control T or command T again and you place it on top. Now you can make any adjustments to make it bigger like this and you press OK. And also, what if you want to change the color of the actual image? Well, you're going to go to where it says image here, the folder, you want to open it. And where it says gradient map, you want to double click on this icon here. Now on the right, this thing will appear and you want to press on it. Now you've got this hue. So what you want to do is you want to select beneath the colors and it will create the square. Now what you want to do is you want to change the color to the rest of the, of the image. So you go to the color you've chosen and you can make any adjustments. So you press OK. Now you can move the square around to make it more intense or less intense. 
Also, you can change the Y to another color, maybe uh, pinkish like this. I think that looks pretty good. Turn the room. Also, you can add a bit of gray to make it look a bit better, like this. And if you're happy with this, you can just press OK and it will be done. Now, if you finished everything, don't forget to add the paper overlay that you disabled in the beginning. So, in this icon where there's a white square, you want to press on it and it will adjust the overlay automatically. Then, yeah, you can make any tweaks or any changes that you want. And hopefully this will help in your next cover. So, yeah, feel free to subscribe, to leave a like. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment or you can ask me on my Instagram, which is DowelGFX, the same as my YouTube. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.